Hello, everybody. I'm Hal. And I'm Melanie. We'd like to tell you something about our ministry. And a little bit about our family, too. Mm -hmm. God was pleased to give us six boys in a row and two girls, but six boys in a row. And so when people noticed that um, we weren't white-headed gnomes and we hadn't jerked our kids bald-headed, they asked us to speak about raising boys. And one thing led to another. That's why we wrote our first book. We called it Raising Real Men. Surviving, Teaching, and Appreciating Boys. It's the book we couldn't find raising our kids. Something that was based, founded in the Word of God, but was practical. And yet didn't just give us a checklist of things to do, but gave us choice. So it's available in hard copy and in audiobook, because often moms can't get any time to themselves except in the bathroom. And guys like to reclaim the time while they're commuting, so we've got the audiobook format as well. Now let's talk about our new book. Well, I want to tell them about some of our resources, but listen... It's going to be worth your while to hang around because at the very end, we're going to give you a $15 coupon. So hang around to the end of the video and we'll give you that coupon code. We've got a whole series of Christ-centered holiday guides, okay? A book on Christ-centered Christmas, Thanksgiving, and now the new one on Reformation Day. These are great resources for your family because they, they're really like unit studies on us. Well, they're unit studies and cookbooks and holiday planners all in one. And the newest one about Reformation Day, we've celebrated in our family for decades on October 31st. But really, it's something the church has celebrated for over 400 years. So you need to check these things out. I think that'll be a big blessing to you. Well, you know, one thing this year is the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation. And we've got a brand new line of shirts that help celebrate the fundamental truths that guided that. Well, you know, the very basic truths of the faith that the Bible alone tells us how to be saved. And our salvation is by grace, through faith, in Christ. And it's for God's glory alone. And you can proclaim that, complete with proof text on your chest. These have become super popular. Check them out. Okay. Now, another thing that's really popular is we do these online master classes. Like right now, we're doing one called Pre-Flight. This is your kind of your, your walk-around inspection before you're ready for your young teenager to launch off into the real world. And so that's one that we're doing right now. And always, we're about to start a boot camp 9 to 12. We're going to be doing that in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Because those preteen years are such a challenge. School gets hard. Relationships get hard. They get angry or they cry for no reason. We're going to help you with all that. It's one of those popular things we do. And, Mom, maybe you're just looking at that little boy and thinking, preteen, I can't, I can't figure out my six-year-old. Well, boy who boot camp kind of gives you the basics of why boys are different and how you can enjoy that. Also, we have a new book called Love, Honor, and Virtue. We wrote it because people said, I need something to hand my boys to talk about biblical sexuality. And this is one that, that deals with the reality that we face right now, a world that's awash in all sorts of temptation, and everybody's carrying the Internet around in their hand. Okay. Well, all the books we handed our older kids were written before smartphones. So how do you deal with that as a young man who wants to keep his way pure? One thing you need to be sure to do is make sure that you have some kind of accountability on every Internet-capable device in your home. We talk about this just about every time we speak because it's so important. Go to RaisingRealMen.com slash safety. It's the one we use. Get something, anything on your devices. Well, maybe you need something better than hanging around on your devices anyway. Our guys, our teenagers said, hey, how about some craft kits that guys can get their hands into? There's no good craft kits for teenage guys. You know what? They came up first with make your own chain mail. Gone into calligraphy. Uh, wood burning. They talk about sketching. Leather, about leather working. Yeah. All kinds of cool things. Our our kids develop these. Your kids are going to love them. Great gifts. Mm -hmm. And here's another thing: teenagers develop. Young woman in our church wrote a book. She started when she was 13 years old on the question of what was it like being a Hebrew growing up in slavery. Yeah, you know, she brought it to us when she was 20, and she said, "Is this something that is worth publishing, or should I pack it away?" We were stunned. It was incredible. So we published it. It became Book of the Year. It's used in a lot of homeschool curricula. Now there's a sequel, a stand at Sinai, and a radio theater with over 50 actors and original score. But imagine handing your kids a book and saying, you know what? A teenager just like you wrote this, and now teenagers are being required to read it. Wow, the motivation. Honestly. Now here's some motivation. Theodore Roosevelt wrote a book with his friend Henry Cabot Lodge called Hero Tales from American History. They wanted to teach character and patriotism using stories from American history and biography, and so we've converted it into a really exciting series of audiobooks. Because history is way better with cannon fire and screamy French mobs, you're going to love these. Mm -hmm. Now, something else to help you in your schooling, if you have struggling learners, we have been there. One of our sons was so dyslexic, he didn't learn to read till he was 11, but now he's in college 
on full academic scholarship. So if you've got struggling learners, head over to our site. We've got resources that can help you. All right, here's some other things that will help you. How about some attitudes around the house? Oh, boy, that's something you need. Pollyanna, one of our daughters found it in a used bookstore and brought it to me and said, would you read this and see if I should read it? I couldn't stop laughing. So we did as a family read aloud. And even our teenagers were saying, hey, Mom, wait till I'm in there. I want to hear it. Even our teenagers loved it, our teenage guys. But most importantly, it taught us to be more grateful as a family. It taught us to choose to be glad, to choose to rejoice. And we also have the very rare sequel, Pollyanna Grows Up. Your kids are going to love this. It's going to make your family life more pleasant. Now, here's another audiobook series that we've started, The Five Little Peppers. And this is, this is a little bit different. And this talks about being content. Yes. Being thankful and putting people above things. Yes. Our kids love the Five Little Pepper series. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some that are really focused on, on the struggles that guys face. The, the, the coming of age stories like Men of Iron, coming of age in the, in the, night, the age of knights and chivalry, and the classic Captain's Courageous about a rich young boy who finds himself thrown off overboard up on an ocean liner and he has to work his way back home. Great experience it was. Our boys asked us to do these because they were so influential in their lives. Mm -hmm. We have audiobooks by other people too, because audiobooks help our kids to develop reading comprehension and to build a vocabulary and their understanding. The G.A. Penny audiobooks taught our boys what the manly virtues were like in real life. Sugar Creek Gang for younger kids, character building adventures, Christian perspective. They're great for the whole family. These are the ones you probably heard listening to the radio when you grew up, and they're still fantastic stories. You can get those for your own kids now. And, and we have else. other fun stuff, oh, too, that you can yes. All this stuff makes great gifts for your kids. We're going into the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. and if you're looking at that, gear for boys. We have rubber band machine guns, training swords for your teens and your older kids. Mm -hmm. So much fun stuff. Now, it's not all about the boys. You know, our, our first relationship in our home is our marriage, and this is our book on marriage, My Beloved and My Friend, or How to Be Married to Your Best Friend Without Changing Spouses. <laughs> That's good. And again, it's the marriage book that we couldn't find. It's the one that covered all the things we wanted to cover, like how do you deal with chronic illness, financial trouble, how do you balance the division of labor in your home, all those things that we didn't find they were covered. How do we be friends? Well, that's a, and that's a crucially important thing. All right, what else we got to show? Well, this helps you become friends. This is free. We have a weekly email that you can sign up for called Lovebird Seed. And every week we'll deliver to your mailbox a conversation starter mm -hmm. or a memory maker that you can use to make your marriage better. This is real easy and it's totally free. Just go to RaisingRealMen.com slash Lovebird Seed. And we had great fun things together. We sure did. Now, another thing that's great fun is our marriage retreat. You're cranking up to do our next one, and we're going to be announcing one following this very soon. This is a, a great and intimate retreat where we go to a, a private, secluded kind of hideaway place where we have, we, yeah, we have some teaching, but it's mainly to get away and relax, reconnect as a couple. The name comes from Song of Solomon where it says, Come away, my beloved, my beautiful one. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Every week we have a podcast. We call it Making Biblical Family Life Practical. It's on the Ultimate Homeschool Radio Network, but you can find it either on iTunes, search on Hal and Melanie, or go to HelenMelanie.com slash radio. We talk about everything under the sun, whatever interests us that week. Now, if our ministry has been a blessing to you, because I know many of you have heard speak, would you consider becoming our partner and becoming a patron? Because what we do is possible because of what you do in supporting us. And, you know, every, every bit helps. A dollar a month. $1,000 a month, whatever you feel led to. <laughs> Go to patreon.com slash Hal and Melanie. And before you leave this page, get your freebies. Mm -hmm. We've got a homeschool pack, some of our most, most interesting resources, and a parenting pack, too. These are some of our favorite things that people love, people enjoy, and you can get them free. Free? Totally free? Totally free. What you have deal. to enter your email address, but feel, you know, it's okay to enter it on both and get both freebies because we won't add you twice. Right. Now, here's the coupon. Join us for Boot Camp 9 to 12. The next live session starts November 7th. 7th. Mm -hmm. Use coupon code SUMMIT Boot Camp to get a $15 discount. And this is a great program. And if you can't be there live, then you can join us for the recordings. So, we'll talk to you later. I'm Melanie. And I'm Hal. Thanks for listening. Thanks for visiting. Bye, y'all. Bye bye.